So when you've got paint on your paint buffer, there's some tools at your disposal that you can use to manipulate what you've put down before you actually bake it. So we're gonna have a look at that in this lesson. So first up is the warp tool. You can see it on the toolbar on your left, it's got the little lattice icon. So if you click and drag, then it will bring up this lattice and you can add more or less points to the grid. And then if you click and move a point on the grid, it will kind of deform it around to that grid. So this is really useful if you wanna get maybe a bit of a bend in a straight texture, or if you've kind of laid something down but it doesn't quite match up to maybe like an edge or something that you've got on your model. You can also, you can clear the grid at the top, you can toggle it on and off and you can add more points. So next up is the slurp tool. It's super simple, you can push and pull points on your paint buffer to kind of slurp it around, I guess. And at the top, you've got some options that can change the radius and the opacity. Finally, we've got the pinup tool. So the pinup tool you can use by pressing shift to drop a point. And then when you've got a point dropped, you can use that to kind of push and pull stuff around. But the, the difference between this and say, for example, the lattice or the slurp is those other pins won't be affected. So it's really good if you wanna keep some of your paint buffer kind of still, but manipulate just some of it. So at the top, you've got a plus and a minus that you can use to change the power. And also you've got a clear and reset pin option there as well, if you don't like what you've put down. So when you press bake, then all that manipulation that you've done will then finally be put into the layer that you've been painting on and you're good to go.